Hi friends, welcome to today's dance class with San Francisco Ballet. Today you're going to get to take a dance class with one of the fantastic dance teaching artists from San Francisco Ballet's Dance in Schools and Communities program. Have you ever wanted to take ballet or learn samba, hip hop, Bollywood, or West African dance? Well, now's your chance. All summer long, San Francisco Ballet and Stern Grove Festival's education programs are working together to provide you free dance classes all summer long. Don't worry if you've never taken a dance class before. All you need to do is make sure that you have a safe space around you to dance in, that you listen to the instructions, and that you have fun during dance class. All of us at San Francisco Ballet have really missed dancing with all of you during the pandemic, and we look forward to being back in person with you soon. Thanks for joining us today for today's dance class. Are you ready to meet your dance teachers? Let's go. Peace family, this is Miss Sam May from SFLA Dance in Schools and Communities program. I hope you are all enjoying some warm weather and sunshine. Are you ready to get your bodies moving? Let's do it. Be sure you have an open space where you can move freely and safely. If you are indoors, make sure you have enough grip on the floor and won't step on anything on accident. If you are outdoors, be sure you have footwear that will protect you and let's get ready to have fun and embody something familiar or new we'll see today our session will be focused on hip-hop now first things first i want us to all remember that hip-hop is actually made of many street dance styles breaking popping locking whacking punkin vogue house it goes even deeper and gets more specific depending on what time and place we're referring to hip-hop is a cultural identity and way of life a black art with influence from both african and latinx diasporic traditions hip-hop is a meeting place and breeding grounds for creative expression rooted in ideals of social justice and liberation so if you didn't know already hip-hop was started in the 1970s by black and brown youth growing up in the Bronx in New York City. The indigenous name for New York City is Lenape Hoki. This was a time of unrest and a prime moment for youth just like you to create something outside of the mainstream where they weren't seeing themselves represented. Something that they could truly take ownership of, transform and evolve. When you're living in circumstances beyond your control and your everyday environment is one of crime, poverty, and corruption, life can feel like a volcano ready to erupt. These black and brown youth growing up in the Bronx in the 1970s took matters into their own hands and started a movement that would eventually reach the entire world, encouraging ideals of peace, love, unity, authenticity, and respect through creative expression and conscious culture. So are you ready to embody this way of life, this way of being, this culture? Here we go. All right, fam, let's start with some grounding, bending our knees and taking a few breaths, looking at your feet planted firmly into the earth, inhaling. Exhaling, push it out. Inhale, bending our knees. Exhaling, push it out. One more time, inhale. Pushing it out and reaching to the sky. Feeling that connection all through your body. Fingertips wide, fingers shooting out, and feet firmly planted in the ground. Now take it in and stretch it out. Feel the expansiveness of your body. Inhale, bring it all the way in, curving your back. Exhale, bring it out. See my back come in, into this concave and stretching out. Two more times, inhale, and exhale. Now you might have felt your spine there and the center 
of your center, this place of balance, this place of rootedness, this place that connects us to the earth. Why, I'm, why I keep saying connect to the earth, connect to the earth, is because hip hop is truly rooted in African and Latinx diaspora traditions. What does that mean? It means that beyond where we are in Turtle Island, beyond the Bronx, beyond New York City, beyond the Bay Area, LA, wherever you are in the United States, this culture, this dance reaches far out into the diaspora, into motherlands and homelands that are remembering and still remembering our connections to the earth. And so in hip hop, you're always, always, always going to find yourself coming in to the groove, coming into that bended knee, because when we bend our knees, we are closer to what? The ground, the earth. And oftentimes, you'll notice that in hip hop, it's not really a dance where we keep our stature up, but it's, it's this swag, it's this, it's this coolness. And so you might see folks standing as so, but really there's a way in which we relax into it. So as we groove, as we stretch, I want you to think about relaxing into it. I want you to think about your own groove. What is groove? Groove is that thing that your body starts to do when you hear good music. I mean, maybe it isn't even good music, but when you hear music, you might start with a chicken head, you might start with a downbeat, you might bring that into your shoulders and chest, and you'll notice that the groove that we strive for in hip-hop dance, in hip-hop culture, roots all the way back to dances from the motherland of Africa. So practice your groove. Hey. Hey. Hey, clap once, clap twice. Hey. Hey, say it with me. Hey. Hey, this time I want you to move on the A to a new spot. Here we go. about my posture. Mm -hmm. I was bending my knees pretty much the entire time. There was a constant beat, right? There was a syncopation, there was a rhythm I was following. I was hearing in my head and I was following it and there was a consistency, right? We can also dance sporadically 
and in uneven counts, but there is really an evenness there. Boom, 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 boom. Percussion, right? Boom, 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 boom. What's beautiful about hip hop is really, I think, the polyrhythms. Boom, 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 boom. Well, polyrhythms meaning many rhythms at the same time, right? Boom, 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 boom. Good, let's go back to that side, front, back. Here we go, one, two, three, four to the forward. One, two, three, to the back and one. Turn, hit, hit. Very nice. I'm gonna teach you a very basic step, which is a top rock. There are many, many, many ways to top rock. This is just going to cross over to our side and come back. Cross over, come back. Yes, without the arms, I'm just crossing over, coming back, crossing over, coming back. I'm going to shift my weight forward, come back. Shift my way forward, come back. Good? Let's try that. Forward, back, back. Forward, back, back. Forward, returning to neutral. Forward, returning to neutral. Good. So you can kind of see the way in which your body follows that step, right? Now this time I'm going to step out and I'm going to push my hip out. Notice I'm leaning back slightly. Come back. Push my hip out. Come back. Okay. You can do this with a flat foot coming forward, which in that case, your back foot will most likely come onto a little force arch there. especially special is because it was really the dance that started the phenomena that is hip-hop culture. B-boys, B-girls were in the battles, were at the parties, getting down on cardboard, getting down on whatever they could find and doing these power moves to let one another know who was really rocking the party. And so when you do this, and bring your arms out, you're saying, I'm here. I have arrived, okay? It's not like small. You really wanna state your presence. And you can get fancy with the footwork and arms when that starts to feel more in your body. But for now, we're gonna stick to the basics, yes? Coming out, double hop, out, out, double hop, out, out. So we're gonna put a little groove into our top rock. Very good. Next, we are going to put in some more footwork there. A beautiful part of hip hop, I think, personally, um, are the social dances, are the party dances, are the, the way in which, like our family parties, have become places and sites of, of culture, of remembering, of storytelling. So I know we all know this one, okay? I mean, I don't really know, but we are gonna know after this time. We're gonna do the electric slide. Step, back, step, forward, and back, step, brush, and you start again to the other side, yeah? Bring it back, bring it back, bring it forward and back, and to the back, go right, 
back, right, back, left, back, left, back. Bring it back, bring it forward, bring it back, and to the next side, right. already know this but if you don't you're gonna learn right now right cross back like a grapevine right tap left bring it back left tap we want to bring it back with some funk bring it forward we might touch the ground bring it back up tap we're gonna land this foot and Turn, ba, ba, and it goes straight into the same sequence. Here we go, back, two, three, four, and forward, and back, and step, ba, 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 da, 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 and forward, and back. Bring it around one more time, eh? Here we go, right, left. Right, A and left, ah, A and back, and forward, and hop, to the front, boom. So, in that party dance, social dance, it's like, I feel like it's church every time the community comes together to do that one. There's so much there already. You got the grapevine, right, left, going back, you bring it forward, you bring it back. You have a movement that turns, that pivots you, and you start again. And you notice how that movement brings you to a full circle, a full rotation. What else is a circle in hip hop? The cipher. Holla, if you know what a cipher is. Yes, a cipher is a place of exchange. It's a place of knowledge sharing. In dance, in hip-hop dance, the cypher is a place for creative expression to get free, for us to freestyle. So choreography, right, is often something that we might think about as set, as planned perhaps, as something you can repeat. Freestyle is something that comes to us through our intuition, through our body memory, through a trust that we know what we're doing, that our bodies know what they're doing because our bodies are intelligent are 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 deep in ancestral wisdom and intergenerational knowledge so we're gonna freestyle a little bit yeah here we go thinking about all the movements we've done so far we've grooved we've done a little footwork forward and back we've turned We've seen all sides. Yeah, we've top rocked. We've thought about what it means to claim our space and to really, what I think is about making yourself known, is about introducing yourself, right? If, if hip hop is a dance, is a culture that was born out of struggle, out of oppression, then we as practitioners are looking to get free. We as practitioners are looking to make not just ourselves known, but our stories known, our histories known, our true histories known, okay? So we're gonna put on some music. And I want you to just feel the music, okay? I want you to feel the spirit of the music. I want you to think about what it means to just sit in the groove. And then after you sit in the groove, Think about what it means to put a foot out or an arm out. What does it mean to tell your story and get free while doing so? Here we go.
wow 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 thank you all so much for practicing your freestyle with me i really felt like we were all in one big cipher celebrating life tapping into our joy transforming from struggle and really really just rooting in to that gift that is life that gift that is community that gift that is music that is dance that is art that is culture please know that this is just a snippet of what hip-hop dance can feel like um, i as as a pinai as a filipina american a filipinex person living in Yelamu in unceded Ramaytush Ohlone territory, having grown up in LA County on Tongva land. Hip hop has really been the space where I've been able to really find the goodness of my identity as a daughter of immigrants and connect with others around our differences and our similarities and those really human qualities that keep us united and in the same fight towards true liberation for all peoples. Have a beautiful summer and enjoy the rest of the program with your family. Sending you all so, so, so much love. Peace and blessings from Miss M.A.